Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. A few things I wanna go over before we start this video. One, my allergies are through the roof. So if you hear me sneezing and if I look generally swollen, that is why. Two, I have been having shutters put in my house downstairs as we speak. So if you hear some loud banging noises, that is why. And three, I am wearing a neon top and I have no intention of changing. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry. Clearly we are on the right foot today as we're starting off. So I actually just wanted to turn on the camera today and do a first impression video of a new product that I feel like has kind of been going viral online, not just on TikTok, but also on YouTube. And that is the Jones Rhodes WTF foundation or what the foundation. Okay, where do I begin? Before I get into it, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. We talk about skincare, makeup, mental health, vlogging, fashion, we do hauls, and I would love to have you join. So let's get right into it. Okay, so Jones Rhodes, if you guys don't know, Jones Rhodes is the sister brand to Bobbi Brown. So Bobbi Brown actually created this line, and to be honest, I feel like she's kind of more involved with Jones Rhodes than she has been with Bobbi Brown. Like her face is the face of Jones Rhodes. She's very vocal on the accounts for Jones Rhodes, which I find interesting, because I feel like she kind of wasn't that way for Bobbi Brown. Jones Rhodes is like the clean girl makeup version of a high-end makeup brand. And I have tried quite a few things from the brand, and being a thousand percent honest with you up front, I have not had the best luck with this brand. They have this balm style product that I will pop a picture in that's kind of like a blush. They also have some bronzer shades and some clear shades and it is straight up Vaseline. Like I know that we love the clean girl aesthetic that is very lightweight and very like dewy, but I mean it is Vaseline with a little bit of pigment in it. I could not use it, especially in the summer with having oily skin and sweating. Like there's just absolutely no way. So strike one with that. I had used a lip gloss from them that was full of glitter. So I didn't really love that. One thing that I have tried from them that I love that I'm not gonna wear today, but I wanted to mention just as something I have tried from the brand. This is their Just A Sec eyeshadow. This is a potted glitter eyeshadow. I have... I have mine in the shade bronze and this is really really pretty and very easy to use It's quite pigmented and it really does provide just like a nice wash of color on the eyes So I'm definitely not writing off this brand and I don't want to write off this brand like I want to enjoy this brand because you guys know this is like right up my alley. I love this aesthetic, but man, I have just not had the best luck. There are a lot of products from the brand that I haven't tried that, you know, maybe one day I will. They have a sort of like stick that you can use as a pinpointed concealer or spot treatment sort of area. Um, Just, I don't know. I just, I wanna like it, but I haven't. So I picked up two things from the website, one being the WTF foundation, which we're gonna try on, and then also their lip and cheek stick. I was hoping that this would be an alternative to the multi balm that has been going viral again that I really don't like. This is just more of a regular roll stick and this is in the shade rosy brown. So we'll get to this. I'm going to try this today on top of the WTF, but for the most part, I really want to focus on this product. I have not tried this on at all. I have not even swatched it. I have opened it to check the shade and it looks like it's going to be my shade. This is shade light. It was very hard to find the right shade on the website. I have friends who have lighter skin tones than me who said I would probably in sh be in shade medium. So this may be a total ghost face for me today, but because it's supposed to be so light coverage, I'm kind of hoping it won't be. The claims on this product are basically that it is a tinted moisturizer, like a moisturizer balm with a little bit of coverage. So again, really light weight really sheer that girl glowy dewy vibes and I do have a friend who mentioned that she felt like this was wearing Vaseline on your face so I'm really nervous I also had someone tell me that she mentions you should skip a moisturizer if you're oily. However, I wear SPF every day, which has a lot of the same ingredients that a moisturizer has in it, just like this does. So to me, this would be like a great product if it had SPF in it, but it doesn't. So that's a docked point for me. Another thing I wanted to mention before I dive in is that I have tried two other balm style foundations. I like them, but I don't love them. I don't know that that's necessarily my favorite kind of application for a foundation. So the first one is the best Skin Days from Iris and Romeo. This is a SBF style tinted moisturizer pot. This is an SBF 25 and I have shade three. I mean, you would think that these were identical. It has a little bit of a smell to it. And honestly, 
Every time that I have tried to put this on, it just sits on top of my skin and doesn't really blend in. I think these are probably best applied with fingers, but I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. I really want to like this style of product. And the other one that I've tried is the Chantecai Future Skin, which is viral for being used on the show Euphoria as their foundation base. I would say that this is more of a foundation that happens to be in a tub than these are way thicker and way more of like a mousse consistency where this is more of like a foundation that happens to be in this tub. I do like this product. It's a little bit too matte for me. It gives you a natural finish with almost no coverage. So I do like it, but it's kind of like put away. It's not in my everyday sort of repertoire with makeup. I just wanted to put all of that out there before we started to let you know that I have tried things similar. I haven't had the best luck with them. So that might affect the way that I feel about this product. I have not watched any reviews because I really want to be able to form my own opinion on this product. However, I can see that it's already got this layer of oil on top of it. Let me see if I can show you. I, I don't know if you can see down in here and on top, it's got like a full layer of oil that I could like pour into my hand, which I don't wanna do. And I have seen that people are mixing it with like the back of their brush. So I guess I'm gonna do that. I'm thinking that the best way to apply this is going to be with my hands simply because that is what I would use to put on a tinted moisturizer. But man, if this is really a tinted moisturizer, why didn't they put this in a pump? You know what I mean? Like this is what I have to do to get this to work. That's just so stupid, sorry. And also it's in this humongous glass container, which means it's not gonna be great for travel and it's quite expensive. So just in general, I'm a little bit like, if this is a moisturizer, why not just put it in a pump? It would save us all so much time and we wouldn't have to like be mixing our own products. I don't know if they expected us to put this on like while it's separated, but that just is a little odd. And now look at this. I have all of this on the back of my brush. Like, I guess I'm gonna just put it on with the back of my brush. I really want to apply it with a flat brush because that's just what I prefer when it comes to products like this. But if they say use your hands, we're gonna try our hands. I don't wanna come off like being bitchy already because I don't wanna be like that. Like I want this to work. Obviously I paid for this. Like I want it to work, okay? And I do have friends who like it. So let's pray. I do have also some acne up here right now. So we'll see kind of what the coverage layer is. Oh my God. This kind of smells like the, um, the Iris and Romeo one. So I'm gonna start with this much and go from there. Mmm, interesting. I don't know, you guys. So right off the bat, it's reminding me so much of the Iris and Romeo product. Like, it's just barely there, but also, like, not that easy to blend in. <sighs> I don't want to give up yet because I want to like this, but I don't think I do. I know, I know, you're like, you just tried it on, but it's one of those things where sometimes you can just tell, like, if something's gonna work for you or if it's not. And this is just not, this is just not my vibe. The smell is quite strong also. Okay, here is one layer completely blended in in shade light. I'm gonna go ahead and say it did almost nothing. And I'm the type of person who's like, if I'm gonna put something on, I need to see some difference in some way, shape or form. And I see almost nothing, which I understand that's kind of the point of this product, but why even use it if it's not gonna do anything? Okay, let's, let's try and put on a little bit more and see how it layers just in these areas where I tend to get red. Also, LOL, look at me, like <laughs> still using the back of this. I am gonna go in with a flat top brush. This is the, again, the F80 from Sigma. I love this brush so much and i just i hate using my hands to put on product i just think it's always patchy like i can never get it to rub in right so hopefully the brush will maybe help here the brush applied it fine like i probably could have gone in with the brush the first time so i'm gonna try a little bit more i don't know if you can see up here too where i have this pimple it's still super red and kind of the color and the the flake around it has kind of been i don't know magnified i feel bad because i feel like i went into this knowing i wasn't gonna like it but i really wanted to try it and i really wanted to like it like i would not have spent my own money on something if i thought i wasn't gonna like it 
time to wipe off all the excess, I guess. Okay, so here's another thing I'm having an issue with. All of this product that I had to just swirl, I have like no way of getting it back in here without making an absolute mess along the rim of this product. Okay, hold please. I mean, look at how much I've wasted here just trying to clean this up because I don't want this to be such a mess when I close it. It's just a waste of so much product. Unless you got yours like perfectly mixed already, which I have not seen that to be the case for a lot of people. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and this is sticky. This is sticky icky icky. I am going to apply a little bit of concealer and bronzer and then we'll come back and put on the blush together and kind of see how that works with it. Okay, I was gonna fast forward, but I just wanna show you something. This brush always diffuses my bronzer perfectly. It is the Sigma Contour Blush, and it is the F80, F53 Air. And this is so gooey ooey underneath that it's just bare, I can't get it to blend the way I usually would. With a typical foundation or skin tint that I like to wear, I can literally go like this and it'll set and it looks so good. This took a lot of work and it feels wet under here. Like while I'm doing this, which usually takes no time for me, I feel like I'm dragging this product around my face. So just a note. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that my face smells. I can smell it in this aura around me, like this whole section, and it's starting to feel irritated. I didn't look beforehand, but I'm really wondering if this product has a bunch of essential oils in it. So let me see. Jojoba oil, glycerin, castor oil, ginger root oil. Maybe that's it. That's giving it this smell. Like, what is this smell? Ginger root oil. I don't know, you guys. So I just used the Persona Bronzer and Dune because I know it works well with everything. So that was a real testament to show that the sticky icky really picked up on it. So <laughs> I don't want this to turn into a roast. And I'm sorry, you guys know sometimes I get carried away when I'm like talking about stuff, but I'm just disappointed. So anyways, let's try the, br the blush. I'm gonna give this blush, blush multiple shots before I tell you guys what I think about it because I don't think it's fair to say whether or not I like it because I know that the base is not something that I'm enjoying. So I don't think it's fair to give you a final yes or no on this blush knowing that the base is not something I'm liking. So I'm gonna apply it like I always do. Again, this is in the shade rosy brown. It's like, again, a rosy brown shade, which is my favorite. And I always apply to my brush first and then onto my face. So let's try it out. I did swatch this earlier and I will say it did feel pretty um, emollient, if you will. It had a lot of shine to it. It had a lot of balmness to it. Not even close to as much as those balmy things that she makes. So I was happy about that. I was worried this was gonna be like one of those little things. I should probably look up the name of that because I keep talking about it. Okay, super sheer, super buildable. Of course I went overboard cause it's me. Let's put a little bit on the lips. Pretty, that's pretty. I love this color, especially for summer. And it does not have that medicinal smell that the foundation has. I'm gonna go over this with the brush that I used for the foundation just to blend it in a little bit more. And here is a close-up swatch of that shade, rosy brown. You can see it's really sheer and has that, I don't wanna say greasy quality, but that oily quality that this brand is known for. I think it looks really nice on the lips as well. I think this is one of those that could really be used for both. Not, not all products, in my opinion, look good on both because if you're using it on the cheeks, you're kind of expecting a glowy, dewy look, but then it's formulated in a way where when you put it on your lips, it almost comes off matte, and I don't like that. So this is nice where it's sheer on the lips and on the cheek and it looks shiny for both because again it has that quality to it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am not going to finish this makeup because I am going to go downstairs and take it off. I have never done that for a video. Like even if it's something I don't like, I usually can just wear it throughout the day, but I am not going to do that in this instance because I can feel the irritation starting right here specifically around my eye area. And I already am dealing with some acne right now. So I would rather not exacerbate that. I'm also planning on going for a walk with my husband and I don't want it to mix in with a bunch of sweat outside. This is not an outdoor friendly 
look. So I guess let's just get into my final thoughts. I continue to be unfortunately disappointed with Jones Roads and I hate to say it because it seems like a brand that would be right up my alley and I get the question a lot as to if I like it or not. I just think there are so many brands out there that are doing it better right now that are offering better ingredients, better quality, better pizza Papa John's. <laughs> that are offering less of a gooey look. I know that what you would associate with the way that the products look on the face would be this feeling of greasiness, but that's not true. With Tower 28, with Say Beauty, which Say can get a little greasy if you use all of their products like I did in that one video recently, but their products are meant to look a certain way, but they don't feel the way they look, if that makes sense. Tower 28, for a very specific reason, Milk Makeup can offer you this light dewy coverage without feeling like you're wearing Vaseline. I don't see how this would last more than four hours on anyone, especially if you have oily skin. I definitely don't recommend this for sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin and I'm feeling irritated wearing it. I hated applying it with my hands because it felt like I was putting bacteria back in the product. I really, really didn't enjoy the packaging either. So I have no idea what other people have said about this product, if they like it or not. I've seen a few of my friends post videos but that I haven't watched because I wanted to offer my own opinion. I know that that Khaki posted a video recently and I know there's tons of TikToks about it, but man, this was just not for me. The entire experience of using it was uncomfortable and dissatisfying. So I'm sorry if this was something you really wanted to like or if you are buying it off of my recommendation or not buying it. Totally up to you if you wanna try this out, but if you tend to like what I like or dislike what I dislike, I would skip this one, unfortunately. If you still wanna try out a bomb style foundation. I didn't hate the best skin days from Iris and Romeo. That obviously doesn't sound like a huge acceptance of that product. The Chantecaille is crazy expensive, so I don't feel like I can recommend this fully either. I say stick to a tinted moisturizer like the Say Beauty Slip Tint. It is my favorite. I love to wear it. With SPF, with moisturizer, without moisturizer, it has an SPF 30 in it, so you're getting a little bit of protection and it's easy to use. You don't have to worry about all the mess and it doesn't give you Vaseline face. <laughs> I am going to go wash this off. Um, I can't believe that, but I am. So I guess I'll come back and review this again for you guys if you're still interested in it with one of my favorite base products and we'll go from there. But this was a fail for me. I'm sure you'll find this in my fail video for the end of the month. But otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. It will be more positive, I promise. And hopefully I didn't offend any of you with this review because if you like these products, obviously people love them because she continues to make more. So there is an audience out there for this product. It's just not me. And I will see you guys in the next video.